that your misfortune tie, I oh, get along, you little doggy. You know that the fairy will be your new home. And now for the adventures of Lightning Jim. Come on, get along there. This is a prison, not a kindergarten. You fellas ready for the break? I'm getting out of here tonight. Wait a minute. We can't escape tonight. Bart ain't got his bars cut through. No, I ain't, Davis. What's the rush? I'm telling you, we'll never get such a chance again. Listen to that thunder. It's going to storm before dark, and that'll cover up the getaway in case he misses before we got him clear. He's right, Bart. The rain and everything. All right. I think I can cut my bars through by tonight. Stow it. Listen, that wall guard's had his glimmers on us ever since we started talking. Come on, break it up. I mean, he's right about that wall guard. Remember, remember, by the east turret. Sure, tonight. sure. We got it straight, Davis. Come on, let's mix it. Hey, Butch. How about that tobacco you was going to trade with me? Hey, hey, hello. There they go. Over the side of the river. Where? Oh, blast this rain you can't see nothing. There, there. See, down there for the east. I see them. Not them have it, men. I think we got them. Sure, that got them. We gotta get them bodies before they sink. Yes, they got their men, two of them, dead. But when the excitement died down and the cells were checked, it was discovered that Lester Davis had made a clean break. A general alarm was sounded, but days passed during which the authorities received no word of the escaped convict. Finally, Attorney General R.B. Tewson summoned United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Well, boys, I've got a job for you, too, and it's important. It's in connection with that prison break. Yo, Mr. Fusion. By golly, she heard they'd lost something up there, and we kind of figured you might be calling us in to help find it. Dad, blast it, Lightning. We haven't had a sign of this fellow last day us so far. Not even a good lead to go on. You must get this man for us and get him quick. He's a murderer. Hold and... on, Mr. Fusion. That jailbreak was a week ago. That trail's cold. Suppose you give us the facts in the case so that we can get started. You're right. There's no time to waste. Now, here are the records right in front of me. Good. You can take them with you, and then if there are any points you want to check, you'll have these to go over. Right. I tell you the more outstanding features so we can save time. That sounds reasonable. Shoot. Well, it seems that this fellow, Les Davis, had a good-sized ranch just west of Red Gulch in Cheyenne County. He was a hot-tempered Jasper from all accounts, and he and his neighbor, Cy Wallace, had had a boundary feud for two days or more before killing... Come on, you fellas. Let's get a little pull before supper. Yeah, well, count me out, boys. You know I always get home in time to eat with my kids. Besides, I, I want to look over that there north boundary of mine for dark. And if in that low-down vermin, Cy Wallace has broke down my fence, he's going to... You two sure have a heap of trouble over that there boundary, Les. You mean I've had a heap of trouble, Hank. And I ain't aiming to have no more, neither. If in that Stephen Coyote busts down my fence again, I'm going to fill his yellow height to full of lead. He won't trouble me no more. Oh, come on. Let's play pool. Let's not go till sundown if we let him get started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's funny, huh? It's funny. <laughs> well, Ty Wallace there ain't going to find nothing to laugh at if he busts down my fence again. Well, sir, them there rails of his is down again unless Davis don't cool off none. There's going to be fireworks out at the old bar W here for long. Oh, forget it, Red. <laughs> You know, Les, why he's been yapping about that boundary of his in flight for two years. <laughs> hmm. So the stage was set, eh, Fusen? Yes, for a cold-blooded killing, Lightning. 
Well, two days later, Jed Hansen, who owned the property adjoining Cy Wallister on the other side, was riding across Cy's land on his way to town, and he found the old man, dead as a doornail, shot twice in the back, lying near the border of his and Les Davis's ranges. And the fence, it was busted, I suppose. Busted, I should say it was. Why, even the post had been chopped down for a hundred yards or more. Well, this man, Jed Hansen, went straight to Matt Beasling's house. He's the sheriff in these parts. And Matt and a group of the townsmen rode over to Les's place as soon as they'd taken a look at the body and seen the broken fence. Left with his home with his little girl when they arrived. That's a girl, honey. Now, now try another bite. Oh, Papa, look. One of my curls got in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it did. Eating in bed's kind of hard work, ain't it, honey girl? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here's a piece of string. We'll, we'll fix them bad curls so they won't get my baby soup. There, see? I'll, I'll tie them up on top. Oh. This way. There. There. <laughs> How's that? Oh, that's fine, Papa. Thanks. Now, now we can finish the soup. Papa? What, baby? Papa, I don't want any more. It hurts my swallow. Oh, can't you eat just another big spoonful? You won't never get well and strong if you don't try to eat, honey girl. Oh, sounds like we got visitors, honey. I wonder who it is. Hey, let's. Let's save it. Oh, who is it, Papa? Well, it sounds like Matt Beezing and some of the boys. Hey, let's be in there. Yeah, well, I guess I'll have to go out and see what they want, baby. Now, you lie back and rest like a good girl. Papa will be right back. Howdy, boys. Ah, yeah, what's up? That's plenty up, Davis. It sure is. We want you, Les Davis. Now, hold on, fellas. I'm the sheriff around here, and I'll do the talking. What in tarnation's wrong with you, Jasper? Well, uh, there's this wrong, Les. Cy Wallace is lying out near your boundary with a couple of bullets in his back. Cy Wallace? Shot? Yeah. Well, I'll... Be... Who done it, Matt? That's what we come out here to ask you, Les. Ah, cut that show on, Matt. He done it, you know it as well as that. He always said he was going to let daylight into the old duffer. Why, sure, I know he's done it. Come on, Davis. I didn't shoot Cy Wallace, your men. I swear I didn't. Well, he's laying out there full of lead. When was he shot, Matt? Well, they don't nobody know. Jed Hansen found him on his way into town about an hour ago. From the looks of things, he was killed sometime during the night. Oh, quit the stalling, Les. He done it, Matt. There's no use of us standing around here all morning, John. I wasn't out of the house last night, men. Honey was took bad long about sundown, and I was with her all... All right, honey, I'll be right there. My kid's sick. I... I gotta go see what she wants. I'll I'll be right back. I know you don't, David. Uh, Come on, boys, we'll go with him. He might try to run for it. Well, come on in, then, but... Don't say nothing before the kid. What, Papa? Why, why, they just came over to talk about some cattle, honey. We, we was talking it over out there. Uh, <clears throat> wasn't we, man? Come on, Davis. We ain't gonna fall for no sob stuff. You'd better come on into town, Les, and talk this over there. That is, if you don't want the kid to hear. What's he talking about, Papa? Well, there's been a little trouble over at Sy's place, baby, and the boys here want me to go into town and kind of help them get it straightened out. Now... Now, you just stay right here in bed, and I'll stop by and get Aunt Myra to come over and stay with him till I can get back. All right. Only please hurry back. I'll be home before you know it, honey girl. And I'll bring you something nice, too. Just about all there was to it, Lightning. Les Davis was taken down to the county seat for trial and was convicted. Got 20 years. He'd served less than one of them when he escaped. Hmm. What became of the kids? Yo, what happened to that poor little girl? Oh, she was taken care of all right. I understand her mother died when she was a baby. But Davis got a friend of his, Hank Klinger, to go out and run the ranch on shares while he was in prison. Hank and his wife, Myra, are looking after honey. They got him, Mr. Pewson. They got him. Got who? Davis. Les Davis. Davis? Yeah. yeah. The wire just came through. They're bringing him in this afternoon. Well, Lightman, I guess that solves our problem. Yeah, it looks like it. Certainly takes a big load off of my mind anyway. And I surely appreciate the way you men got here so quickly. I know you need some sleep after riding so hard. Boy, yo, oh boy, I certainly like to shake the hand of the Yeager that caught this Davis feller. Say, when I get to sleep, I won't take up for a week a bit. Hey, hey, wake up, Mike. Why, why, wake up. Why, Wake up, somebody at the door. Yo, and from the sound of him, he wants something pretty bad, too. Yeah, I'll go. Hey, Lightman, the attorney general wants you over to his office right away. What's the trouble? Yo, he said we could sleep until tomorrow. Well, it's about that convict. They got the wrong man. He's still loose. Davis, I mean. Well, I'll be a cross-eyed mule if that ain't good. Got the wrong man. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, here we are again, Lightman. We caught the wrong man, dog blasted. And still no trace of the real Davis. That means we'll have to hump it, Mr. Fusen. We've lost some valuable time already. Did you give us all the facts in our talk this morning? Just about all we have, Lightman. You can get the details from the prison break. We'll be on our way then, Mr. Fusen. Come on, Whitey. But where do you go? We haven't been able to dig up a single clue as to which direction Davis took. Well, we'll be heading up toward Red Gulch, I reckon. Red Gulch? Well, he wouldn't dare go back there. Every man in town knows him. Well, I guess Lightning figures the murder always comes back to the scene of his crime. Something like that, Whitey. Goodbye, Mr. Fusen. You'll be hearing from us for long. And this time, we'll see that you don't get the wrong man. Lightning Jim and Whitey had been in Red Gulch for almost a week. The famous marshal figured that Davis would eventually try to see his small daughter, whom he loved very dearly. So they bided their time, paying frequent visits to the Davis home and gaining the friendship of Davis's small daughter. And then one day at the Davis ranch... Land sakes, look at the time, will you? Here, honey, you finish these breakfast dishes for me. Hey, it, Ma. Well, you better poke up the fire so the water will get hot. I'll need another pan full for these towels. I'll tend to that when I get back. I'm going to run down to the stables to see how old Bess is this morning. That horse is getting awful old, and she gets rheumatic when it's cold like this. Ooh, I declare it's downright bitter out. Guess you'd better stir up that fire right away, honey, or it'll go out when I get back. Guess I'll can the home too while well, I'm at it. Time's almost out now. Guess I'd better put some kerosene on it. I've got the home does and it starts in the morning. Oh, oh, my hair! Help, help me! Oh, help me! Help me! Here, my, Here, my coat. My coat, honey. Here, right around there. Oh, there, honey. Now, you're all right, honey. Everything's all right, baby. Yes, now, here, I'll, I'll take this coat from around your head. You see. Oh, thank heavens, it was only your hair, honey. What? My papa, it's papa. Oh, papa, I'm so glad. You've come home to me. Mm -hmm. oh. And I'm glad to be home, honey girl. Oh, I'm so glad. Here. here, sit down in this chair while I close the door. But papa, you look so funny. Your face, it's so rough and dirty. And those clothes, Papa. <laughs> they look like they come off a scarecrow. Well, they didn't come off a scarecrow, honey, but I reckon they do look like it. Oh, where'd you get that funny looking well, Never mind, never mind about me now. Let's have a look at that head of yours. Oh, but you don't hurt any, Papa. Hmm. Why, it ain't burned at all, honey girl. Just a hair thin, seems like. <laughs> just that there kerosene just made a big puff and didn't do any harm. But it might have if you hadn't been here to put it out, Papa. Well, old Beth seems to... Oh, Aunt Mari, it's what? Yes, it's come back to me. Oh, you was wrong, Aunt Mara. You come back. Oh, Les, you shouldn't have come here. They're looking for you. The marshals. They've been here several times already. Yeah? Oh, Aunt yeah, Mara. Of course he'd come home to me. I told you he'd come home. Good gracious, honey. Your hair. Whatever's happened to your hair? Oh, my hair caught fire. And Papa's went down, Aunt Mara. I was just pouring a little kerosene on the fire. Kerosene. Oh, honey, Davis, you know there, better. There, 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 Mara. I think our little girl's learned her lesson. He doesn't need a scold. Huh. Get up a minute, will you, honey? You're getting to be such a big girl, and Papa has a cut on his arm. Oh, right? look, Papa. It's blood, Ned Mara. Look, it's blood. <laughs> look at it. Why, Les, what on earth happened to you? Here, here, I'll get them dirty rags off you and wash it up. Hey, you, honey, you go tear me some cloth off that old sheet you'll find in the chest in the front room. Mind you, close the door after you. Terrible cold in there. Oh. Certainly right. Mm, yes, yeah, part of my convict uniform I tore up for bandages when I managed to steal these clothes from a wash line. Why, why, this ain't no cut. It's a bullet wound. Yes, yes, they winged me when I was swimming the river outside the prison, but I don't want the kid to know nothing about it, Mine. You did what I said, didn't you? You never told her about me being sent up? No. We only said you're going to be away for a long, long time. Oh, why'd you let the child see you, Les? She's so young. She's bound to let out that you've been here. Well, I didn't mean to let her know, Azra, and I... I just wanted to kind of peek in the window and see her for a minute, and then... Then them flames shot up around her head. I, oh, it was awful. I thought I'd never get around to the door in time. What if I hadn't been here, Myra? I guess you was meant to be there, Liz. Here's the closet, Myra. Oh, gee, Papa, does your arm hurt then? No, 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 not hardly at all, honey gal. It's just a scratch, almost well. Here, honey. Put these soil rags I took off from over in the corner, back to the wood pile. 
I'll burn him up as soon as I get through fixing his arm. Well, I'll put him in the stove now, Aunt Laura. No, 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 honey. You do as Myra says. We can't have you fooling around with that stove until you get a little older. Well, yeah. yeah. that's better. Here. Here, you sit over in this chair near the stove. I got some more nice, soft rainwater in a barrel on by the shed. I'll get some of that and heat it so you can get yourself cleaned up a little. Uh, I'll get it. Where's the bucket? Oh, no, you don't, Miss Davis. Someone might see you if you used to go outside. My, 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 how Papa's girl has grown. Come over here, honey. Liz, hmm? Liz, it's in Marshall. Marshall? Hide quick. Where? Oh, they're still more than a half a mile off. But I could tell that big black horse we was ten miles off. Oh, do you mean spend it, Myra? Oh, yes, honey. Les, Les, you better get up in that attic over the front room and hide till I leave. They're coming slow, but they'd see you for sure if you tried to make a run for it. All right, Myra. Now, honey, honey, listen to Papa. You mustn't let them marshals nor anyone know I'm here. It's very important. But why do you have to hide from Mr. Lightning and Mr. Whitey, Papa? They're good men, ain't they, Myra? Oh, of course they're good men, honey. But some bad men are after your paws. So it's best that no one should know he's here. Now, don't forget, honey. No one must know that Papa's here. All right, Papa. I won't tell. Honest, I won't. Because my eye. Come on, Les. You ain't got no more time to talk. Hurry up. Yes. Grab a quilt off one of the beds to take up there with you. No telling how long they'll stay. Now, remember, honey. You gotta act as though nothing had happened. <laughs> Well, will Lightning Tim and Whitey discover their quarry in the attic of the old ranch house? Will Les Davis' small daughter be able to keep the important secret of her father's presence in the house? We shall find out in part two of The Adventures of Lightning Jim, which follows immediately. And now for part two of the adventures of Lightning Jim. Les Davis, hearing the two marshals approaching the house for another checkup, hides in an attic over the front room just as Lightning Jim and Whitey ride up. Well, land sakes, it's you again, is it, Marshal? Uh, uh, stay away. Right. Oh, well, come right in and warm yourself. Well, uh, I declare it's right bitter out today. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Lightning and Mr. Whitey. Hello there, honey. Well, well, how's my best girl this morning? Oh, I'm fine, thank you, Mr. Whitey. Well, well, Whitey, look at them singed curls. Hey, what you been doing, young lady? Sticking your head in the stove? Oh, no, Mr. Lightning, I was uh, She was pouring kerosene, Marshal, and I... Well, it kind of flared up. Oh, that's No bad. harm done, no. Mm. Sit down, you two, and I'll, I'll make you a cup of coffee. Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah, I was just fixing to get it on the oh, stove when you knocked. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Klinger. Well, by the way, Mrs. Klinger, I was wondering if you and the heirs to the Cy Wallace's property might still be having trouble. Oh, you mean count of them surveying fellows you seen near our north boundary? Yeah. I noticed them working there the last time I was out this way. Well, they're surveying for the railroad. There weren't no heirs to size land, and one of our neighbors bought it cheap and sold it high to the railroad. I hear they're going to start laying the road bed for long. And Uncle Jim Hanson says if I get sick again and have to go down to Wade County to the doctors like I did before, I can get there in less than four hours by riding on the train. Speaking of traveling, well, uh, I knew I wouldn't be around there so long. So, honey, I brought you a present to remember me by. Why, Mr. Whitey! I couldn't forget you and Mr. Lightning. Why, Mr. Lightning, let me sit up on Thunder's back, and... Well, you've both been awful nice to me. Well, anyway, the hair's depressing. Oh, thank you, Mr. Whitey. Gee, it's all tied up fancy. Oh, come on, tell me, what is it? What is it? Suppose you open it up and see yeah, how right. it <laughs> Oh, a 
The only trouble is uh, she don't have any clothes on her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Whitey ain't so good with a needle right now, honey, but I think when he takes up sewing next year, he'll be making her some right pretty things. Oh, is she that so light? <laughs> well, let me... Uh, I can sew, can I, Aunt Mara? Well, I'll make her some dresses and coats and hats. Oh, she's just beautiful. Well, suppose you run in the front room and find some scraps right now, honey. They're in that big chest. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Yes, yeah, she sure looks fine for being as thick as Jed Hanson said she was. Oh, Jed Hanson's just a regular old woman. Well, that child never was very sick, if you ask me. Hmm? Yeah, come over the night Les was arrested, he did. And wouldn't have it but that he'd take her right down to Wade County where Doc Bentley could see her every day. Well, he paid for it all out of his own pocket, room and board, doctor bills and all. So I reckon I got no cause to be carrying on about it. Mm. I can't find any colored dress yet, Ma. You just didn't look in the right drawer, honey. Here, you two just help yourself to this coffee while it's hot. I'll slip in there and find us some scraps to be working on. Go right ahead, Miss Lane. We'll help ourselves. Oh, so you like the dolly, huh? Like her? Oh, I love her, Mr. Whitey. <laughs> oh, I know where a piece of striped cloth is. Yes, sir. It's back of the stove in the wood pile. There it is. Of course, it's awful dirty now, but I can wash it and... Don't bring him any light, then. Look, that's a piece of place in her shoe, the phone. Yes, so it is. Where's your father, honey? Oh, I, I, I don't know. He... Oh, I don't Here they are, know. honey. They were... Oh, Why are you crying, child? Oh, oh good heavens. Yes, Mrs. Klinger. We found this piece of Les Davis's oh, prison Lara. uniform. Where is it? He, he's gone now. He was here last night, but, but he's gone now. He went away. Where? I don't know. Back in the hills, maybe. I'm I... sorry, Mrs. Klinger, but we've got to do our duty. Come on, Whitey. We'll search the house first. Yeah, you stand with the door, Whitey. I'll start at the front of the house and work back. Sure, then it'll have to come on. I'll be in the trouble. I'm coming down. Papa. You didn't find me anyway. Oh, Les, I know you shouldn't have come. I told you, honey, to give you away. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't, Papa. I didn't tell. Honest, I didn't. It was that drag you had around your arm. I didn't No, 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 that's all right, honey. Don't, don't cry, baby. Do. Oh, I see the bandage I made from the prison uniform. Well, of course, you couldn't know, honey girl. There, there, there. Now, don't cry, honey. Red Lightning, sending that telegram to the Attorney General. Well, that just ain't going to be such good sport as I thought. Yeah. Sometimes it ain't much fun catching the right man. But you ain't. You ain't got the right man. I didn't kill Cy Wallace, or I swear I didn't. Listen, Marshal, your name's known all over this part of the country to stand for square play. I didn't kill Cy Wallace, sir. I was convicted on circumstantial evidence. Will you listen to my story before you take me to prison? Yes, Davis, I'll listen. But I can't promise no more than that. Jed! Jed Hansen! Who is it? It's me, Jed. Les Davis. Les Davis? Yes. I was caught by the marshals and just escaped. Let me in, Jed. It's colder than the devil out here. Go on away, I tell you. Here, Marshal, find you here to arrest me for harboring a criminal. They ain't going to come around here tonight, Jed. They went down to Wade County. What's that? Wade County, you think? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what did they go down to Wade County for? Take him up, Jed. Move back in that room. Why, well, sure. Sure, Les, but what you got that gun for? It's for you, Jed Hanson. But first, I got a little talking to do. Sit down. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, I'll sit down, but... Jed Hanson, you killed Cy Walliser. I didn't. It's a lie. I, I didn't. You killed Cy Walliser because he wouldn't sell you his land. It's a lie. I... You knew the railroad wanted that property and a bid high for it. So you killed Cy and framed me. I didn't, Les. I swear. Shut up, I said. You even took honey down to Wade County so she couldn't testify to me being home with her the night of the killing. When I was waiting to be tried, you kept telling me she was getting worse and worse. And it was a lie. A dirty lie. But you better not lie to me now, Jed. If you do, I'll give you just what you give, son. Don't shoot me, Les. I didn't do that thing. Don't shoot me. No, I... I don't reckon I will, Jen. Shooting's too good for a yellow-livered coyote like you. There. I ain't got the gun on you anymore, Jed. But I'm gonna choke you. 
I'm going to choke you till you're gasping for air. Till your eyes pop out of your head. I'm going to choke you. Oh, no, you ain't. I got the gun now, Les. You shouldn't have been so careless. <laughs> yeah, so, sure, I killed Ty Wallace, but I shot him in the back. You're going to get it in the stomach, you sneaking meddling fool. What's the... Why, this gun ain't loaded. Why, you? Straight for the sky, Hanson. The, the marshal. Don't let him get away, Marshal. No, oh, my foot. Oh, oh. Yet I just couldn't have you getting away after all the trouble Les went to to put on this little show for us. Show? Sure, Dad, sure. Lightning Jim believed me when I told him about me being with Honey the night of the killing. So him and Whitey here have done a little detective work. And they found out about you buying prize land and... Hey, oh, but we didn't have no real evidence. So Les, he put on this little axe to get it for us. And then there was a trick? You marshals was outside all the time? Oh, we was, Jed. Les thought you'd confess at the point of a gun, but when you held out, well, I guess he figured maybe you was the kind of a coward that talks more with a gun in his hand. You mean he fixed it so that I could get that gun? That's just what he did, Jed. Put the cuffs on him, Whitey, and let's get going. Sure. There's one more thing we've got to do tonight. Take this wire, mister. Sure. Who's it going to? Mr. R.B. Fusen, Attorney General. And uh, the message? They have caught the murderer of Cy Wallace. We'll get him sometime Monday. This time you can be sure you're getting the right man. Just sign it, Lightning. <laughs> oh, by gallus, Lightning. When he sees who we bring in, he'll think we got the wrong man again. And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.